Excellent. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And thank you very much for coming uh, to our little talk about the A-Level Business Studies program here at Long Road. My name is James Young and I am one of the four members of staff that teach on the A-Level Business course here. Um, we've got myself, Mark Nunnally and Josh Tadman with Gemma Snipe being the course team leader. So she's the one that calls the shots and says what we can and cannot do. Um, so we've been teaching this course at Long Road for quite a long time now. But specifically, we've been focusing on this version of the exam board uh, for the last five years. And I think we've got pretty good at teaching it. Right, OK, so what are we going to be doing in business studies? So as it says on the screen, we're looking at the fact that business studies is a versatile and dynamic subject. So we need to think about business studies, not just from the perspective of learning some theory about how it is, what it means to run a business. We need to think about business studies in the real world context. What does it mean to be a business person, to be an employee, to be a stakeholder in the world around us today? So. We will be thinking about businesses in a range of different settings. We'll be thinking about businesses at different sizes. We'll be thinking about businesses in the local setting. So small one off corner shops and seeing how they will choose certain operations and actions in comparison to other businesses. We'll also be thinking about different environments. So we will be thinking about how businesses will make their own choices and decide what their operations are going to be, depending on what the state of the economy is like. If we're in a state of economic boom, how will that influence the choices that our businesses are making? Or if we are in a period of economic recession, how is that going to influence our businesses and the choices that they make? So learners will be expected to be familiar with current affairs. So as part of our curriculum, we expect students to keep up to date with everything that is happening in the news. With the current lockdown situation, there are almost daily changes and to the external environment that will be affecting business studies and affecting businesses. So by getting students to understand the context and the world around them, it helps them to perform better and apply their theoretical knowledge of business studies to the world around them. So as I mentioned earlier, in terms of our exam board, we have used the exam board EDUCAS. So that is the Welsh exam board. As I mentioned, we have been studying uh, on this exam board for the last uh, five or so years. The reason we chose this particular exam board is because the answers in which you um, give your answer, sorry, uh, for your exams, there's no prescriptive answer. There's no one set way to best answer the questions. So if you're a bit of a free thinker and when you write your essays, you tend to hit on a variety of different topics, that is just as correct and valid as being very regimented uh, when you answer your long answer questions. So the benefit of this course, again, is the fact that myself and Gemma, who is the course team leader, we are both exam moderators or exam markers for this exam board. So we've got a bit of the inside track into what we should and what we shouldn't be included in your answers. So the length of the course, we are looking at a two year course. We don't do the AS qualification in the first year and then move on to the uh, A-level qualification in the second year. It is a two year course. So the information and the topics and the content you start studying on your very first day, you need to remember it and retain it and make sure you're revising it because that could be something you are later examined on at your exams at the end of your second year. So as it says on the screen, we've got three exams that you will have to be taking three exams. So we're going to have two years worth of lesson content and knowledge and we can condense all of that down to three individual exams. So all the pressure all of the um, expectation is riding on those three exams throughout the year. So depending on how you as a student deal with pressure, if you're quite happy having limited pressure throughout a year and a half and then all the pressure at the end, then the A-level might be the correct course for you. In terms of the entry requirements for getting onto your business studies qualification, you need to get at least seven fours or above, at least seven fours or above. There's a couple of uh, points of interest that you need to make sure you get at least a five in your maths. This is because there is some maths components uh, and elements to the course. The maths is not difficult. It would just need you to have at least a five. So it shows you've got a willingness to give it a go because you won't be doing anything as it's difficult in terms of the maths as it was in your GCSEs. We just need to make sure that you've got that level of competency. 
And if you have taken business studies as a GCSE qualification, you need to get at least a level four in that. OK, then, so how is it going to be assessed our qualification? As I said on the previous slide, we are thinking about the fact that it's 100 percent exams, 100 percent exams. So if you don't like coursework, this might be the option for you. So it does mean, as I said before, there is a lot of pressure at the end of your second year because it's very much all or nothing. But again, I'm talking up for this amount of pressure. We do prepare you for this. We are we do allow you uh, and teach you and get you ready for the exam. So it's not as scary as it sounds. So you've got three exams. Each of them will be weighted exactly the same for your overall qualification. Each of them will be worth exactly a third of your qualification. So each exam will last two hours and 15 minutes, two hours and 15 minutes, which when you are on the sound of it is a huge amount of time. But I can guarantee when you're in that exam hall that two hours and 15 minutes will disappear very, very quickly. So the content is broken down into these three components, one, two and three. The first being business opportunities and functions. And this is what we study in our first year. This is getting that base understanding, this base level of knowledge. So in the uh, second year, when we start to look at component two and component three, we take what we've understood, we take the theory and then we start applying it to different businesses. So how would a large business deal with this with recruitment? How would a small business deal with recruitment as an example? Each of the exams are worth 80 marks. So in total, in total, you are going to get a maximum of 240 marks throughout your three exams. OK, then, so as I said a moment ago that the content, the topics are broken down into these three different components. Component one is everything we do in our first year. Component two and three are what we do in our second year. So in our first year, in component one, we tend to think about and primarily think about small businesses, SMEs. Don't worry if you don't know what that is. We will teach you that when you get to college. You haven't got to have studied business studies for GCSE to do very, very well here at college. So we'll go through some of the basics of how to set up a business in your first year. Your enterprise, how to write a business plan, how to do market research, how to identify opportunities to essentially exploit and become profitable. Once we've done all that, we might start thinking about the operations. What are the day to day minutiae like of running a business, how to choose the best suppliers, and new locations. All of this we do in our first year. Once we've got that key set of knowledge, we move into our second year and we start to think, OK, how can we achieve our goals? Because we'll look at how businesses set aims and objectives, and then we'll start to think about what strategies, short term actions can we put in place to achieve those long term goals? And that final component is looking at a larger context for businesses. So we're thinking about the theory. We're thinking about applying it to strategy, but we're thinking about what external factors, things outside of our business that we can't control. How is that going to affect our business? As you can imagine, the specification for this uh, qualification was written quite a few years ago. So the last bullet point in component three is talking about the European Union. Well, we're no longer a part of the, or a member of the Euro European Union. So Brexit and how that has influenced uh, businesses will and can be part of your exams. So those are the three topic areas that we'll be studying what you will be studying when you come here in September. OK, then, so when you are taking your exams, when you're doing your long answer questions, you are going to be assessed on these four different ideas, these four different things. You're going to get assessed on your knowledge, your application, your analysis and your evaluation. So the first place you can get marks is from your knowledge, your ability to remember, to recite, to recall theories and formulas, essentially. So the question could be state free benefits. If you can list up three benefits, that is showing you have an understanding of business knowledge. So that is the first way you're going to be assessed. The second part you're going to be assessed on is your application, your ability to take this theoretical knowledge and apply it to the real world. So what it might ask you to do is tell me, as an example, everything you know about a supermarket. Well, we can know from a supermarket they're going to be perhaps in an oligopoly. They're going to be in the physical and electronic markets. 
Don't worry about these key terms if you don't know what I'm talking about. We will study those when you get here. But that is what we're going to be doing, taking our theoretical knowledge and applying it to real world businesses. So the third thing you're going to be assessed on is your ability to analyse, to say, OK, what is good and what is bad about the choices this business has made? The question might be something along the lines of a business has chosen to recruit staff from externally. Tell me the good things and bad things about that. And whilst we're teaching and delivering the theoretical content, we'll be also thinking about why is it good and why is it bad they've made certain choices. And the last thing you're going to get assessed on is your evaluation. Essentially, that last thing is talking about what is your opinion? What do you think about this? Has this business made a sensible choice? This is where you actually get to say, no, I think I can do better than most businesses because I'm 18 and I know better than everybody. So you're going to get assessed on those four different ideas. Your knowledge, your theoretical understanding of business studies, application, your ability to apply that knowledge to the real world, your analysis, your pros and cons, the things that are good and things that are bad. And then lastly, that evaluation, the what do you think the best idea is? What is your judgment? OK, then, so business studies is going to be just one of the three qualifications that you do here at Long Road. You're not just going to study one lot of A-level business studies and that'll be it. So A-level business studies is very good as a qualification that links into lots of other subjects. So we've got three different uh, pathways essentially you can walk into. The first one is to focus on just A-levels. So just three linear A-levels, three qualifications that last two years and you take all your exams at the end of your second year. So as I said earlier, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, nine big scary exams at the end of your second year. If that's how you uh, like to be assessed, that's absolutely fine. But again, depending on how you deal with that stress, that might not be the choice for you. The next one is to think about just diplomas and applied courses. So the applied courses are a mixture of coursework and a mixture of exams. So depending on, again, whether you feel you perform best in exams or you perform best developing a portfolio of coursework, you can pick the right course for there. And of course, you haven't got to pick just A-levels or just applied qualifications. It can be a mixture of the two. A-level business works great as another subject with uh, other uh, ties. As an example, lots of students tend to study geography as well as uh, A-level business studies. This is good because we tend to think about how the socioeconomic areas within different countries, how businesses will be affected by that. So again, there is going to be some definite overlap. Another qualification lots of people tend to do uh, is economics, because again, we will have to study how supply and demand will affect businesses. So there is a lot of play in between business studies. I guarantee, doesn't matter what other subject you take here at college, there's going to be an element of business studies, an element of marketing. How can you persuade people to come and buy your product or service? And so using or having A-level business studies is going to be great as a third qualification. So when you do a qualification here at uh, Long Road, you do three one hour and a half lessons a week. So in total, you'll do four and a half hours of taught lessons a week. Four and a half hours. Most of you will have come from schools of which you have maybe an hour lesson maximum. Trust me, the 90 minute lessons, they get easier after about the first week or so. It seems like a massive slog initially, but it gets a lot easier. So we would expect the students that come to call, uh, study business put about that same time outside of college. So they do four and a half hours studying business in with us and then about four and a half hours cementing their knowledge outside of college. That can be simply going over their notes and making sure they can retain it. It could be looking at current affairs and the news, or it could be starting and running your own business. So when you come and study A-level business, it's not just sitting in a classroom and having me lecture you for an hour and a half, uh, three times a week. We do try to get out uh, and kind of show business in context to help you get those AO2 application marks. So we've run a variety of different trips. We try to go to take students to Thorpe Park because they run a marketing talk and it allows students to see the real world application of marketing. We go to Harry Potter Studios. We've been to Barcelona before and looked at a variety of different businesses that operate domestically in uh, Barcelona and internationally. 
we have industry experts come in. So entrepreneurs, people that have started their own businesses, they come in and they mentor students and they tell them the tricks of the trade for starting their own businesses. We run Dragon's Den style workshops with a variety of different institutions. The big one being PricewaterhouseCooper. Uh, they're a big uh, business in the city. And again, we can help you get links with that business. We invite different universities in and they will say what it's like to study business studies at university, which is a big help. We also find and bring in local apprenticeship providers because not everybody wants to go straight to university after they finish their A-levels. What they might do is they want to go uh, and get real world application. We invite people in that can do that for you. And the last thing we get local MPs in because it's always good to find out about the local politics and then go from there. So just a couple of last little bits that I wanted to talk about. Um, so uh, on the left hand side of the screen, we've got the blue, red, green and orange little boxes there. These are some of the students that have previously studied A level business and they've gone on to be successful at different uh, universities. And these are the course they've, they've uh, studied. So we've got Olivia, who's gone on to study economics and economic metrics at Coventry. We've got Nicholas, who's gone to study law. So you just because we you can do business studies doesn't mean you have to do business studies at uh, university. Again, so we've got Megan that's gone to do international relations and Cameron is doing accounting and finance. So just because you take a straight business studies A-level. Hmm? OK, then. Right, OK, then. So uh, let's just hurry it through a little bit. Thank you very much. Next one. <laughs> Sorry, having a few technical issues. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to pass over to a student uh, that is studying uh, business studies with us currently. So we've got uh, Vicky with us this evening. So could you just introduce yourself, please, Vicky? Yeah, hi, I'm Vicky. Um, I'm currently in year two at Long Road and I went to Witchfield Village College. Um, so it's a little bit away from Cambridge, but I study business studies, geography, I do, and also art, fashion and textiles. Excellent. So could you please tell us uh, why did you choose to study uh, Long Road and why did you choose to study business? Well, I really liked how um, Long Road is as a college. There's lots of open space, which was good in the summer. You can sit on the field or there's lots of space inside as well, um, which is quite good now, especially. And mm -hmm. just the, how the college was compared to other colleges. It just it seemed like a nicer place to be. And I chose to do business studies because I did it at GCSE and I found it really interesting and quite enjoyed it and I've just wanted to continue doing it. Fantastic. So you said you did take uh, business studies at GCSE. So how have you found the jump between business studies GCSE and A-level? Um, I don't think it's been too hard. Um, in the first year it's quite similar um, topics you do at GCSE as you said. Um, but obviously that's so that everyone can get an understanding if you haven't studied it before. Um, but even in the first year, I still learned new content that I hadn't covered at um, GCSE. So it's, it's still quite interesting, even if you covered it. It's good to get a recap of knowledge. Excellent. So, of course, with the lockdown, we've had to shift some of our lessons to online lessons. How have you found that? Um, I found it quite in easy. Um, with Teams, it's quite easy to see your assignments and what you've got due and logging on to a call is quite easy, but it is nice to be back in college as we do have um, alternative weeks now. Um, but then also when you have the week at home, you have a bit more time not spent traveling that you can catch up on work or, you know, just log on. It's easier. Excellent. So you mentioned a moment ago that you can catch up with work. What is the workload like for college and business studies? Um, I think business isn't too heavy on the workload compared to my other subjects I have, which are more um, coursework based as well. Uh, so doing the A level it is quite good. It, you just have to be good at remembering all the content for the exams at the end. Um, but it does. It, it's quite easy to manage. Yeah. Excellent. So you said you're doing some coursework subjects. How have you found business studies? Has it overlapped at all with any of those subjects? Um, well, I do geography and as you said, it links in quite well. <laughs> and 
um, just just about anything in geography like globalization or like trading and it's even with like um, just how a business has to be like responsible for their environmental like actions um, so it's quite interesting having the two because the subjects work quite well together. Excellent so what are your plans once you finish your A-levels? Um, at the moment I'm not too sure um, <laughs> I have quite a few op like um, ideas in my head, but I was looking at business at uni, um, but also a business apprenticeship was we did have a talk a while ago at college with a um, apprenticeship provider, and they were really they did a really good talk, and that kind of opened my eyes to a degree apprenticeship instead of uni. But it just depends what people like to do. Um, yeah. Yes, of course. You still got plenty of time before you have to apply to university, so don't worry about that. Yeah. Um, so, how have you found the assessments at college? Because we do six internal assessments. How have you found those? Um, with the key assessments, they're quite. Um, I think mean, they're quite good because you can monitor and your progress and how well you're doing as you go along. So it's not like you're in the dark about how well you're doing, and you get good feedback from your teachers. And we go through the exams and like how well you've done and what you could do to be better and um, usually you get to know what's on the assessment so you can revise pretty well and cover all your topics so I think they're very good. Fantastic uh, so you mentioned it a little bit earlier so what's the how have you found the environment here at college how have you found not having to wear a uniform and calling the teachers by their first name? Um, I think it does uh, give it quite a general um, informal atmosphere which is quite nice and like relaxing so you can kind of um, get on well with your teachers and it's not scary to ask them for help or um, go talk to them whenever you need to find out something um, it's it's quite good so that you can wear your own like clothes then you can you know express yourself a bit which is always nice and just the college is overall really nice and just really accepting to everyone and yeah it's good atmosphere. Excellent so lastly what is your favourite thing about A-level business studies? Mm, Put I'm, you on the spot here sorry. Yeah I'm not too sure I just I think it's quite a good subject so that you can understand how businesses operate and it kind of gives you an understanding of why businesses may do a certain thing or why a price for a product is a certain way and you can almost kind of play it so that you can get a good price for a product and mm -hmm. you kind of know stuff like that. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time this evening, Vicky. Um, so we've just got a couple more slides to show you and I think that's it. Again, we're having a few little technical issues. <laughs> Right, okay then, so here we go. So there's a couple of last little bits that we need to talk about. The fact is that we've got some welcome days. So if or when you apply to study business studies here at Long Road, we will invite you in for the applicant welcome days. So essentially you come in and you do some trial lessons and we see what it's like to study business studies here at college. We won't give you homework for those days, but we will expect you to fully take part in all the different activities that we've got. Also, we've got some more open evenings. So we'll be holding the regular summer open evenings uh, for the year 10s in uh, June in 2021 but of course if you haven't been able to visit our campus if you haven't been able to come to college just yet that would be a perfect opportunity to meet some of the teachers that might be teaching you next year. Okay so last thing I need to say is of course stay in touch please we are on a variety of different social media platforms we've got our website we've got uh, Twitter and that we've got uh, Instagram so you can always find us in a variety of different places there and remember the application deadline is going to be the 12th of January if you do have any other questions there are some emails on, uh, on that uh, slide so thank you very much for your time this evening I know I've talked quite a lot and we'll see you in September <laughs>